Hi guys, thought I'd just show off something I've been working on for Blob Person over the past few days. Uh, in level 5 of the game, we're going to have this big battle happening in the sky between these guys, the drones, and the airships that belong to the blob people. And it presents an interesting challenge because if you want a large scale battle, you can't really achieve that through regular programming. There's only so many actors you can have on screen at once before you just grind your game to a halt. But there is one way of achieving massive amounts of actors on screen at once, all interacting with each other, and that's through GPU accelerated particles. So I've spent the past few days researching Unreal Engine's Niagara system, and I've learnt a lot. It's a very different way of programming things compared to blueprints. Um, as you can see, I have a fairly complex system put together already, and I wouldn't even say I'm halfway complete, but I've got something that's worth showing off, I think. So, I won't keep you waiting any longer. We'll get to the good stuff. So I have this actor here that controls the entire system. Um, you know, I set things like collision events and how many airships and drones I want in the simulation. So, you know, to start with, you know, we'll, we'll start small. Uh, let's do 50 airships. That's pretty easy. Uh, I can control where they spawn pretty easily. But now we want something to shoot at them. So let's put in some drones. Let's start with a ah, conservative number. Let's go 100 drones. And there they are, flying around. They're all avoiding each other so that, you know, the meshes don't clip into each other. But they're looking kind of lonely, so I'm thinking I might add a few extras. Let's say there's a thousand drones that follow the 100 liters. And these will all form up into squadrons and they'll randomly select an airship to fly towards and attack and when they get close enough they start shooting And all the airships have health, so they can take a certain amount of hits before they die. Um, they don't actually die though, they just spawn back here. It's much more efficient for the memory side of things to never create or destroy anything. You just have a set amount of airships and drones and you're stuck with that. And this way I can sort of have the entire simulation looping because this is something that will play overhead in level 5. So it's sort of just a visual thing. The player won't really interact with it. But I do expect the player will probably stop and watch what's happening 
overhead because it does look pretty cool As you can see up in the corner, the frame rate is really good for what's happening on screen. You would never get this sort of performance coding all of these actors with blueprints. C++ might be a bit faster, but this many actors moving at once, good luck to you. Uh, running all of this on the GPU you know, GPUs are really good at doing this sort of thing, you know, you have a piece of hardware that's built to process, you know, a few million points of data 60 times a second or more. Uh, I could stress test this, I could, I could bump up the numbers quite significantly, I could have 500 liters, 5,000 followers, I could have 200 airships and you know the frame rate dips a bit but it's still at 60 fps that's still a f playable frame rate especially for a puzzle platformer like blob person and I haven't even really begun to optimize this uh, there are some significant bottlenecks when it comes to the avoidance system to make sure all the drones don't collide with one another. Um, I've already got plans for optimizing that. So when all is said and done, I could potentially throw thousands of these guys together and have them all have this massive battle. And you know, the airships will shoot back. I'll probably have little fighters for the blob people, something more comparable in speed to the drones. When this is all done, I think it will be the most visually spectacular moment in the game. So yeah, just thought I'd share that because I think this is pretty exciting and it looks pretty cool. Even when it's sort of breaking down here, the airships don't really have anywhere to go right now so they just sort of clump up at the center of the simulation. Yeah, that's it. See ya.